Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Cooking Live. I'm Chef Patrice and I'm gonna make you a better cook. Uh, today for this class, I have two dishes that I want to uh, teach you today. The first one uh, that we're gonna be doing today is a carpaccio of beef, a beef carpaccio, of course a classic. We're gonna be uh, pickling some uh, mini cucumbers, radishes, and some red onions to go with the carpaccio. And of course, we're gonna slice some uh, uh, slices of uh, Parmesan cheese, which makes all dish uh, just perfect. We're gonna follow up today with the uh, rock fish, a roasted, uh, the, an entire uh, fish roasted in the oven, which by the way, this is the best way to cook uh, fish. Cook it with the bones. Uh, this way you preserve the moisture, you preserve the flavor, it's just wonderful. The first thing that we need to do today is uh, work on the pickling those uh, cucumbers and the radishes uh, uh, and the red onions for the carpaccio. All right, so let's go and see the list and see what do we need for this. We're gonna be using a half uh, piece of a red onion, uh, about four radishes, uh, one mini cucumbers, half a cup of uh, white wine vinegar, half a cup of water, three tablespoons of sugar, and I'm gonna be using also one piece of a star anise along with the uh, juice of a lemon. So, well, pinkling, uh, it's a great idea because it brings some acidity to your dish and uh, when you're going to be eating a, a piece of uh, beef tenderloin and we're not going to cook it, that, that's the uh, nature of this dish, having acidity along with the richness of the meat makes a great balance and that's why this pickling um, uh, liquid is for. All right, so I'm going to test the wine a little bit more. It still tastes okay. All right, lots of water, lots of ice. Look at those beans, they haven't come back to a boil yet. Now, <coughs> when it comes to cooking green beans, I like to have them firm, of course, uh, but there's a difference between firm and uncooked. Um, the thing is, if you uncook your, veg your green beans especially, they have the flavor, uh, when you eat them, of a raw vegetable. To me, this is not pleasant. But at the same time, I don't want those green beans to be mushy and fall apart completely. I want them to be firm but taste good and cook okay. perfectly. Some of the bone comes out. You can use a small knife also. Where did I put mine? A uh, prairie knife I had. Oh, I got it right here. Perfect, you know, big kitchen. Huh? All right, look at that. What I want you to do is this. And you see the bones, the back bones are coming out. You just push them out. Now, if you can't take them out, that's a sign that your fish not cooked. Should come very easily like that. And this is what I'm talking about. Both end, all right. Now pay attention, this is not very difficult, but uh, it's a little tricky. And what I want you to do is, uh, I'm gonna grab a bigger knife. I want you to cut the lemon right in the middle like that. Okay, perfect. And I'm happy because this one doesn't have any seeds. If you uh, see any seeds, I want you to remove it. Mine is fun. What I'm gonna do here is this. Now grab your lemon like that and just imagine in your head a line in the middle. And what I'm gonna do, you gotta understand, I'm gonna make it twice in here. I'm gonna take my knife in here and I'm gonna cut and I, I'm going to show you in a second, okay? So, don't forget to be here next week. Until next week, have a wonderful week, everyone. Talk to you later.